Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lena Abdeltif, Senior Class President. Thank you for joining us for this exceptional graduation ceremony. Please stand for the invocation to be given by Mallory Smith, Senior Class Recording Secretary, followed by the presentation of the colors by the Shelman High School Air Force Junior ROTC and for the National Anthem. Remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance to be led by Yasmeen Allen, Senior Class Vice President. Welcome class of 2020. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for bringing together seniors, teachers, family, and friends. We thank you for the people around us who are there to give us love, strength, and guidance. We know this ceremony is not traditional, but we still give thanks to you that we're able to celebrate our achievements. Help us remember the ones who taught us the wisdom we know today and how to use our education to our advantage in the future. Bless each graduate in their journeys in life, and thank you for this special occasion. Amen. Please stand and join with me in saying the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Logan Dusang, Senior Class Corresponding Secretary, will introduce our special guests who are with us this evening. Please join me in welcoming our school board members who are with us. Mrs. Diana Dysart, President. <laughs> Mr. Clifford England, Vice President. <laughs> Mrs. Darlene Acevedo. Mr. Donald Campbell. Mr. William Egan, Sr. Ms. Carly Jackson. Mrs. Catherine Lemoyne. Mr. Shelton Smith. Mr. Sean Warner. and Ms. Rosalind White. 
On behalf of the senior class, thank you for being here. Also with us on stage this evening are Ms. Mary Lametta, Assistant Superintendent of St. Bernard Parish Schools, and Assistant Principals, Mr. William Schneider and Mr. David Kuntz. You will meet our other stage guests as the program continues. Again, thank you for joining us. Ms. Emily Boackle, Assistant Principal, will introduce our senior class officers. The senior class officers for the class of 2020, Treasurer Malak Gaber. <laughs> Recording Secretary, Mallory Smith. Corresponding Secretary, Logan Dusang. <laughs> Vice President, Yasmeen Allen. <laughs> Class President, Lena Abdelatif. The American Legion Award will be presented by United States Marine Corps Retired Lieutenant Colonel Michael Pichon, representing the J. Claude Miro American Legion Post 360 in Chalmette. Adding to her many accolades, uh, this young lady is also our Student of the Year, Miss Chalmette, and the, reci the recipient of a Golden Owl. And now, it's my pleasure to present to you the highest honor awarded by, to American youth by the American Legion. It proclaims to the world that you are worthy of such honor and recognition. We believe that wherever you go and whatever you do, you will always be guided by the highest ideals. You are recognized tonight for your courage, honor, leadership, patriotism, scholarship, and service to your peers, school, and community. For all the graduates of 2020, let these six qualities be the stones of the foundation upon which you construct your lives. Remember, liberty and democracy did not just happen, nor will they continue to grow or even exist without the thoughts and actions of every one of you. Lena, on behalf of all members past and present of the J. Claude Miro American Legion Post 360, congratulations. For you. Assistant Principal Ms. Kelly Watson will announce the Harold Lagarde Awards. Each year, the Harold Lagarde Award is presented to the young woman and young man who best exemplify, in the eyes of the faculty and students, the ideal Shumut High School student. The award is named to honor a former parent association president and community partner who for many years promoted the welfare of all Shumut High School students and who worked tirelessly to promote Shumut High within our community. It is fitting then that two of the high school's greatest ambassadors, Miss and Mr. Shelmet High School, would be honored in his name. This year's Miss Shelmet is a young lady who has distinguished herself as both a leader and scholar here at Shelmet High School. As the homecoming queen and president of both the student council and senior class, it is quite evident that the students of Shelmet High School value and respect her as their leader. She has served her school and community through her membership of the Interact Club, Key Club, Beta Club, Mu Alpha Theta, Hand in Hand, Philosophy, and Book Check Clubs, and served as a CHS ambassador all four years. She was also a member of the tennis team, Magnus Opus staff, and a recipient of several academic awards. This year, she was named our Student of the Year, a recipient of the coveted Golden Owl, 
and is one of our valedictorians. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present the Harold Lagarde Award to Michelle Met, Ms. Lena Abdella Tiff. Mr. Shelmet, and the second recipient of the Harold Lagarde Award, stands out among his peers as a young man of great integrity. He became a familiar face to us all this year as an anchor on the Morning Owl Watch News. He was a member of the Beta Club, Mu Alpha Theta, PBIS coordinator for the Student Council, and held perfect attendance all four years at CHS. His teachers have recognized him as a young man of great character twice awarding him with Student of the Week and the Golden Owl Award. He was also selected as a homecoming escort and as one of our valedictorians. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present the Harold Lagarde Award to Mr. Shelmet, Connor Kinney. Thank you again and congratulations to Lena and Connor. Please join me in welcoming our superintendent of St. Bernard Parish Schools, Ms. Doris Foche, who will address the, the graduates. Graduates, I stand before you today as I have for so many graduation ceremonies. But unlike those who came before you, today I address the class of 2020 together while continuing to be apart. We knew the class of 2020 would be a memorable one and we hope so too will this ceremony that so many have worked tireless, tirelessly to provide. The class of 2020 has a very special place in my heart. Many of you, in fact, about 72 of you, started preschool the year following Hurricane Katrina, learning your ABCs at our unified school here on, Saint, here on Shelmet High's campus. We watched you as three-year-olds in straight lines with your fingers on your lips, from walking from portable buildings in the parking lot of the football stadium into the big tent to be fed with food cooked on barges in the Mississippi River. And we now watch as you participate in a graduation ceremony in a beautiful state-of-the-art cultural arts center here on Shalmet High's campus. Just as our school system has rebuilt and recovered, so too have you grown and flourished. You have been a part of a remarkable journey and an integral part of the success that we have had for the past 15 years. Unfortunately, just as your educational career began with our community in crisis, so too do you now, as seniors, find yourself part of a global crisis. The gift of hindsight is a good one, because I have witnessed firsthand the incredible triumphs that have occurred from some of our darkest days. While this spring has changed things for everyone, what hasn't changed is the grit, the strength, and the tenacity of this class and our St. Bernard community. Years from now, with this same gift of hindsight, you will look back on today and realize how the disappointments and challenges that you have faced recently have helped to shape the mature man or woman that you will become. I know I speak for all of your teachers, school leaders, and the people of our parish when I say how proud we are of you and the incredible things you were able to accomplish. Your class has earned $15 million in scholarships. Seven members of this class of 2020 will graduate with both a high school diploma and a college diploma from Nunez Community College in Applied Sciences. 
And for the first time in history, we, have, we may have many owls in space, as four of you have already earned associate degrees in aerospace manufacturing technology. We are excited by the promise of your futures. Some of you will spread your wings and head to celebrated universities like West Point and Notre Dame. Some will go directly into the military to serve our country. Others may stay closer to home, continuing your educations or entering the workforce. But no matter where your future leads you, we know you have been given the tools and the tenacity to succeed. And that is something to celebrate. Trying times always reveal what matters most to a community. What makes St. Bernard so special is our collective steadfast commitment to our children. Graduates, you are our future. And I hope you know that no matter what the future may hold, St. Bernard will always be your home. Parents, thank you for trusting us with your children. And thank you all for joining us as we continue to be forever united by our pride and all that is right for those in maroon and white. Thank you. Shaman High School principal, Mr. Wayne Warner, will announce the honor graduates of the class of 2020. Seniors, each school day, we began the day with quotes of someone's words. And these words made us realize that every day is a new beginning. On a day just like this one, Shakespeare sat down to write his first play. Jonas Salk invented a vaccine to prevent polio. Copernicus discovered that the earth revolved around the sun. Or the United States Constitution was eratified. Or Michelangelo finished painting the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Or Mozart wrote a musical masterpiece. Every day is a new beginning. Seniors, you have another day to do great things every day. Or not. We also took a minute each morning to talk about living our lives in, in a positive, kind, courteous, and honest way, providing encouragement and love to others, explaining that attitude, your attitude, is everything. You can have a happy life or a miserable life. It's your choice, your attitude. And speaking of choices, you decide if you're going to be a productive citizen or waste your day or waste your life. You decide if you're going to do the right thing just because it is the right thing to do or do the wrong thing and eventually pay the consequences. Did you take advantage of the opportunity school provided you to learn as much as you could or did you just get by? Did you prepare yourself for the next step in your life or just waste four precious years of your life? As you go out into the world, I hope that every day of your life you remember that the choices you make today shape your world, your life tomorrow. You know, this is truly a wonderful celebration of educational accomplishment of life and renewal of St. Bernard Parish. I hope your years at Chairman High School will be fond memories for you in the years to come. Never forget the love and friendship shown to you by your fellow students and your high school staff. Ms. Vote mentioned a couple of these things. As part of our dual enrollment program with Nunez Community College, seven seniors have earned associate degrees already 
When they graduate from us, they will have an associate degree from Nunez, as well as their high school diploma. We have graduates who have joined the military already and are going to serve their country. We have over 120 of our graduates receive scholarships. They're listed in your graduation program. And that's 15 million plus in scholarships. In the audience watching this tonight or today, we have many teachers and staff members, all of whom worked very hard to get our graduation to this ceremony, our graduates to this ceremony tonight. And I hope you appreciate that. You know, as young people, I usually have many rehearsals. We had no rehearsals. And as we went through the rehearsals, I explained that in your life, somebody helped get you here. I hope you will think about that. Think about the person who got you to the doctor when you needed to, bought your clothes, provided food, didn't ask you to pay electric or, or part of the bill for your, uh, your uh, rent. Think about the persons, the person or persons who did the most, for, and make sure you say thank you. That's very important, say thank you to that person. Somebody else taught you to read. Can you imagine what it would be like going through life without reading? Or perhaps you don't know how to do math. How can you get through to your life not knowing how to do math? So there are people in your life, seniors, that you need to thank. And you don't need to get them some big, gigantic present. You, anything will do, a thank you, a card. You could make a card. Please remember those people. It's very important to you. I want our graduates to know that just as your teachers have become part of your life, you have become part of our lives. And we will miss you. I know you find that hard to believe, but we do miss you as the years go by and we keep you in our hearts. At this time, it is my privilege to present the eight graduates who have met the requirements to be named as 2020 Honor Graduates and they are all valedictorians. Each one is the valedictorian. Valedictorians, when I call your name, would you just stand? And then after, as we go through it, the next person can just sit down. Okay, just stand. This is not where you do your, your dress. Valedictorian, Lena Abdelatif. Grace Bartholomew. Sarah Bourne. Leanne Dacula. Logan Dusang. Ella Hoey. Connor Kenny. Cindy Gaetan. I present to you the first of eight individuals who have surpassed all others in this class. And they would like to say a few words to you in their valedictory address. Lena Abdelatif. Una mattina mi sono alzato, o bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao. In 1912, anti-fascists in Italy supporting the resistance movement sung these lyrics to fight two wars directly attacking the partisans, a war of national liberation against fascist occupation and a class war against the reigning elitists. These lyrics directly translate to, one morning I awaked, O oh, beautiful goodbye, beautiful goodbye, beautiful goodbye. This valid victory address is my parting gift to the class of 2020. Although sung in 1912, this song still maintains relevance today. The song Beautiful Goodbye alludes to the daunting farewells power and elitism brings, 
to the silenced working class in Italy, this translated to goodbye to my beautiful country, goodbye to the resistance movement, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Within our society, we too are facing a crisis of goodbyes, and more often do our fellow peers fall victim to problematic and overbearing entities that point the finger at the people they are supposed to be protecting. As John Locke puts it, when an overbearing ruler fails to secure the general will of the people, the citizens can withdraw their obligation to obey. During our own great global crisis, we are now leaving our world of comfort and security and entering a world of uncertainty, a world run on hierarchies and classist divisions. Rooted in our disconnect from the world around us is a failure to build upon the collective consciousness of our friends, our family, and our neighbors. On mornings where our upbringings are compromised, will we come together as a community, realize the struggle of our brothers and sisters or our struggles, and rise against the crisis at hand? Although I thank everybody for the opportunity to speak up here today, my family, my friends, and the faculty and staff who have supported me along the way, a valid victory dress is almost selfish, don't you think? We are highlighting the already privileged by perpetuating the state's definition of success, bringing power to the socially acceptable. Ultimately, it is important to realize that awards like these fail to recognize the diverse and well-rounded people who may have ways of living that are not supported by the status quo. We should avoid allowing elitism to infect our society, and we must resist the urge to solely listen to the represented. With that being said, I hope the class of 2020 understands why we are here today and why the applause is ethereal, commotive, and inspiring. It would be easy to succumb to a world of negativity and accept a nihilistic perspective on the world, but again, this is our day. We are the future, and I say this with the utmost admiration. We are the cohort united not only by struggle and turmoil, but also by ambition. By creating something beautiful during the essence of upheaval, we are maintaining our individuality and creating our light in August. When we recognize each other's common struggles, we can divide and conquer as a nation, not as separate classes, parties, or races. With knowledge and community comes understanding and social progress. The innocence and frivolity of high school, for instance, can flash before your eyes just as quickly as you can say goodbye, but ensuring that generations can grow exponentially and experience life through the lenses of each other will ensure that they never have to say goodbye. So class of 2020, I tell you, stay progressive, keep resisting. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao. Thank you. Valedictorian, Grace Bartholomew. On the night of August 8th, 2016, the night before the first day of my freshman year, I asked my siblings if they had any advice for me. My oldest sister told me that school dances were lame and if I ever wanted to be cool, I shouldn't go to them. My brother told me to join all the sports that I possibly could, and my other sister, while she didn't tell me any advice, given the amount of time she wound up in Mr. Schneider's office, she showed me that I should make an active effort to never be tardy. With these words of wisdom, I went to bed fully confident that I was gonna tackle these next four years with ease. However, I had discovered that all of their advice was absolutely useless. Unlike my sister, I loved going to homecoming dances and dressing up in silly costumes for Owl Week. And far from my brother's expectations, I wasn't the best athlete or any athlete at all for that matter. And as far as my sister's advice, I have had my fair share of tardies, but I won't get into that now. So enough about my siblings. What I'm trying to say is that nobody could have given me advice on how to go about my high school career. Nothing could have prepared me for all of the tears, laughter, heartbreak, friendships, or most importantly, AP classes that I would experience during my time at CHS. That being said, I cannot stand on this stage in front of all of you, giving you advice on how to dive into your future with open arms and expect great things. None of us know what kind of person we will be 10 minutes from now, 10 years from now, or even right when you walk out those doors. None of us knew what to expect four years ago, and we certainly did not know that they would end like this. We have reached a very pivotal chapter in our lives. However, this is not the time in our lives where we may ask for advice. This is the time to make mistakes and to have regrets. 
This is the time to make decisions that we will be far too embarrassed to ever recount in the future. This is the time to fall in love and to get your heart broken. This is the time to laugh, to cry, and to get in line for multiple emotional roller coasters. This is the time to learn, reflect, and develop so that one day you too will have some useless, loose, useless advice of your own. Shamet Hai, thank you for the assignments, pep rallies, support, and most importantly, our pride. This school has given me my best friends and a community that I am proud to confide in. You have shown me that in order to find myself, I must get lost over and over again. Though I will not be here sprinting into homeroom at 7.29 a.m., this school will always be my home. To the administration and faculty of Shalmet High, I cannot wait to make you proud. To my family and siblings, thank you for celebrating, comforting, and motivating me. To my friends, thank you for lighting a fire with me that will never burn out. Class of 2020, congratulations. We did it. I know it's not the ending we expected, but it will be a beginning that we will come to cherish. Thank you. Valedictorian. Sarah Bourne. Good morning. To family, friends, school staff, the class of 2020, and all viewers, welcome to our commencement. It is my pleasure to be standing up on this stage and presenting you with our last farewells. I would like to start by thanking a few figures. Thank you to my mom, my dad, and my grandmother for always supporting me through everything and providing guidance as well as a shoulder to cry on. Thank you to my friends for always having my back and making these last four years happy and eventful even through tough times. Finally, thank you to the various educators who have pushed me to be my very best throughout the years, both academically and physically. I probably wouldn't be here today without all of your efforts. We, as a class, have come a very long way, and we have been through so much. We started as just mere buds in the garden of the world. Our environments, no matter how negative or positive, have allowed us to grow in different ways. Our school and the teachers and peers within it have allowed us to enrich our soil and thus expand our minds. Looking back on various activities such as Owl Week and pep rallies, as a group we have built each other up with true support and unity. Additionally, we have even prospered through the negative. Starting as Katrina babies, we have always faced new difficulties, and this year, among others, we have had to increase our resilience to the changes brought to us. We have experienced a lot of days without sunshine and many with far too much rain. No matter how you say it, it will always be unfair. However, we never allowed these challenges to stunt our growth. Instead, we learned to adapt and rise above, Sure, we never had a junior closing ceremony, but we pushed for one the beginning of senior year and made it our own. And we were disqualified from Owl Week sophomore year, but we took back the reins in 2019. Sadly, this coronavirus is something we must push through and ultimately make it our own. We have blossomed into beautiful people regardless of what life throws at us, and for that, I'm proud of each and every person that walks across this stage. Regardless, our journeys don't stop here and we have so much growing left to do. Our destinies are our own and they all depend on our approach to the world. We can choose to bend to the knee of challenge or we can take these new opportunities with pride. We all hear that we should live life every day like it is our last, but we never take that saying very seriously. The more experience you gain and learn from, the taller and grander you grow in life's garden. Knowledge is truly the fruit of life, and without living and adapting, you never reach your full potential. We are the faces of tomorrow. We are the future doctors, lawyers, and astronauts of our generation. So let us embrace change and take it as a challenge. Therefore, one day we may bear life's fruit and teach our children the same. Thank you. Valedictorian, Leanne Dacula. When I first began high school, what I looked forward to the most was graduation. 
the day I was finally free and could follow my passions the way I wanted. Through every outing with my friends I had to miss and every tedious homework assignment, I persevered as I envisioned my future of being able to live how I wanted. Now, after years of pushing through to see the end, I realized how ignorant it was to assume that on graduation day, I, on my own, suddenly earned the right to be independent. As we embark on separate paths, many of us, like I once thought, probably assume that the next four years and beyond is a solo flight. We are quick to pack our bags and head towards a more promising landscape than the perimeters of Chamet, Louisiana can provide. Yet, what we lose in our haste are the people who worked every weekend or even cross borders to give us this opportunity to succeed. Thus, I want to thank those who molded me to be who I am today. Thank you to my friends, some of whom share this honor on stage with me, who constantly inspire me to work harder. Thank you to my parents for the guidance, because even though it seemed overbearing at the time, I couldn't have been anywhere without their support. And lastly, thank you to my teachers for their homework, because despite how unnecessary it felt at the time, I now miss the feeling of being able to finally understand the lesson on my own. Thank you for teaching me everything from the rhetorical significance of a chicken patty on bun to the importance of mindfulness, even if it's just noticing the feeling of your shoes across the football field. I encourage you all to also reflect on those who've impacted your lives. Whether they be with you or have departed from your life in some way, take some time to express gratitude for the contributions in your life. It is not the time to forget, nor do you have to completely forgive. Rather, try to find closure and acknowledge all those who have directly and indirectly led you to this point. And so, to the class of 2020, in this pivotal moment of our lives, keep those dearest to you. You don't have to feel thrusted into the world with no idea on where you're going, because those closest to you are still willing to welcome you back with open arms when you've flown too far. True independence is not bestowed upon us once we're handed our diploma. We still have a plethora of life to live. We still have a new set of helping hands to meet. But once we've finally given back to all the help we received, either by bestowing our wisdom on a new generation, giving back to create a better future for all, or alleviating the financial worries of our parents, is when we truly earned freedom. Thank you. Valedictorian, Logan Dusang. As one of your class valedictorians, I am supposed to be giving a formal goodbye. Instead of goodbye, I think we should all be saying hello. We should be saying hello to our future as it is right in front of us. We should welcome the world and what it has to offer with open arms. In high school, we have been vastly prepared for the real world. Our teachers and peers have taught us many valuable lessons, academically and otherwise. We have learned so many things over the past four years, and we have not realized it, but these things will be so useful as we enter the rest of our lives. High school has been just like learning to paddle a boat in a river. First, you are almost drowning. You learn how to paddle. You get a rhythm going, and then you set sail into the ocean on your own adventure. When we first entered high school, we were scared young freshmen. Freshman year taught us how to adjust to new things. We had to adjust to new teachers, new students, and a whole new building. This was where we had to adjust to the boat and try not to drown. There will always be huge adjustments in life, so this was a small preparation for what is to come. Sophomore year, we got better at paddling, but we had to endure some waves. Most of us learned how to drive, and most of us got our first part-time jobs. Sophomore year taught us to work hard and divide our responsibilities. Junior year came, and we got a rhythm going. At this point, we had adjusted to high school, but junior year was a stressful year. The ACT was coming up, so we had to prepare for that at the same time as keeping our grades up, since college applications were right around the corner. During junior year, we took a mini lesson on how to deal with stress. Senior year was definitely the curveball. 
This was the year where we had to prepare to set sail onto our own adventure. We had to spend a difficult time adapting to major change, including online school and the canceling of major events. Our class has learned how to persevere in the face of adversity. Muhammad Ali once said, don't count the days, make the days count. Very early in life have we learned to stop and smell the roses. We should never take any moments for granted because life can change at any given moment. Ultimately, each year in high school has played a very significant role in shaping who we are and who we will be. It has not only taught us academic lessons, but life lessons as well. It has been a heck of a boat ride, but we did it. It is the end, and instead of saying goodbye, let us say hello. The high school memories will continue to live on, so we should look forward with our heads held high and a smile on our face. Continue to be eager to learn, continue to be curious, and continue to be inspired. A quote from one of my favorite shows, Grey's Anatomy, says, have some fire, be unstoppable, be a force of nature. With that, I would like to say thank you for listening and congratulations to the class of 2020. Valedictorian, Ayla Hoy. Good morning, everyone. It is truly an honor to represent the class of 2020 and say the last farewells. When I had imagined myself in this moment, I had always pictured myself looking at my class and their families, seeing a diverse group of people, some coming from other countries or states, some speaking different languages, and all having different backgrounds. Today, I share the stage with some amazing young women and men, and I picture graduates in their homes with caps and gowns on. Despite our differences, all looking and feeling educated and victorious. For most of us, the last four years were hard, staying up late and making sense of math that looks like Latin, or maybe even making sense of actual Latin, juggling sports among academics and having to excel at both. Some of us even face personal challenges and loss. Even with all of this, you came out on top. We're officially high school graduates and no one can take this victory from us. This will not be our last victory, but it will not be our last challenge either. Albert Einstein says, in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. Unfortunately, this seems to be true. For some of us, college is our next step. For others, we are heading straight into careers, trade schools, or the military. Regardless of our path, it will not be easy. And really, it shouldn't. As I've always heard growing up, the best things in life don't come easy. I learned this was true in high school. High school was not easy, but now look where we are. We are one step closer to success and have opened up a brand new set of doors. The job market is wider, the college doors are bigger, and our future is so much brighter. With every new achievement, new opportunities and struggles will come. Experiences in college and work will be really tough. There will be times that we doubt ourselves and that we see ourselves as lesser than. There may be times that we will study, we will cry, and we will wish that we could go back to high school. But in the end, we will succeed. The diploma was the first step. It was proof that you can get through the struggle, through the turmoil, and achieve something that great that you can be proud of. The key is to persevere. Persevere in college. Persevere in work. It got us this far, and it can get us much farther. With perseverance, there is no reason why we can't be the lawyers, the engineers, the architects, the welders, and the teachers of the future. All of us have it in us. We've proven that today. I have hope in our class and that we can do great things. Although this speech is meant to say goodbye, I know that I will see some of you again. Winning National Teacher of the Year, curing diseases, and making the world just a little bit brighter. Thank you. Valedictorian. Connor Kenny.
The word valedictorian comes from a Latin word meaning to say goodbye. We valedictorians give a farewell address to our graduating class. We wrap up the end of high school. However, an end is just the beginning. When we finish high school, a brand new life is opened up for all of us. A life that calls out to us to become whoever we want. For most of us, we lived in the same parish for all our life. We have seen small bits of the world through the lens of our homes. After high school, we are no longer required to stay in our home parish. College-bound graduates will meet many different cultures and ideas. Those who work right after high school will meet different people who would teach them useful skills. Whatever path we go down is good if we try our hardest to better ourselves. I'm sure a vast majority of people have heard the phrase, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. I would prefer to put a spin on the phrase and say, success is in the eyes of the beholder. Many of us have been taught that money measures how successful we are. If we do not have a lot of money, then we are not successful in the eyes of society. Money, however, is not the only measure of success. Another factor that is equally important, if not more important to money, is happiness. If a person wakes up every day hating their job, trying to get out of bed in the morning to go to work, does that person view himself as successful? In most cases, he is not happy and does not view his life as successful. Happiness is a concept we take for granted on a day-to-day -day basis. We get so caught up in the moment that we do not think about our own well-being. When we meet up years from now at class reunions, will we discuss with each other how happy we are in our lives or how much money we currently have? If we try to better ourselves for our own sake and not for the approval of others, life regrets will be reduced to a minimum. Living life based on what makes oneself happy lets one live looking forward instead of always looking back. The Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius once said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. A person with inner peace sees the world in a brighter color than he who lives in misery. The world is waiting for us. All we have to do is greet it with a smile. Thank you. Valedictorian, Cindy Solis Gaitan. Hello, everyone. I'd like to begin by giving a personal thank you to our dedicated teachers, staff, and those who made it possible for us to hold the ceremony today. To our esteemed guests and viewers, my family, and my friends. There is no doubt that the memory of today will endure the passage of time. But time is a tricky thing, you see, for while sometimes we have too much of it, other times we don't have enough. Time is that which binds our humanity. It is the oldest story in the book of life. One day you're a freshman walking into the ninth grade academy, and the next you're in line to receive your diploma. The some days and the tomorrows we built our dreams on yesterday become today. In a sense, we're all traveling through time together, and our journey was exactly what it needed to be. Not a second was lost or wasted. It took each and every situation encountered and person met to bring you to the now. And now is right on time. Now we are graduating and moving forward in this world. I once heard that it's hard to forget when you have been given so much to remember. For most of us, we have four years worth of memories inside the school, whether it be from attending your first football game to screaming in unison at pep rallies or simply enjoying your friends and youth. We all have memories tied down to the school. Remarkable people have come into our lives just as we may have come into theirs. We have done it all these past few years, all the late nights, the balance of sports and academics, the weight of personal sacrifice. The moment has come where we stand up on stage and recognize that through thick and thin, we made it regardless. And though there may come a moment long down the road of our lives where the details of high school are hazy, the feelings we have felt throughout the years are truly unforgettable. As much as I've looked forward to this day, it is with a sense of gratitude 
satisfaction, and a bit of sadness that I face the universal truth. Everything comes to an end. Just as there is an end to our favorite songs, books, and movies, today marks an end of the incredible journey to maturity and independence. But to quote one of my favorite authors, T.S. Eliot, the end is where we start from. As our class lives out the final moments of high school and moves on to bigger, brighter futures, we say farewell to this chapter of our lives, only to turn a new page. Our class rises to a new start, one where we make the choices and build the future of our reality. May that be through extraordinary careers, selfless acts, or just enjoying life. I wish the best to all. And wherever life takes each and every one of us, remember it takes an end to make a beginning. Congratulations, class of 2020. And thank you, Xiaomi Hai. Ms. Carol Munt, Assistant Principal, will recognize the graduates. The diplomas will be presented by our school board members. Welcome. It is my privilege to recognize and present to you the graduates of the class of 2020. We, the faculty, certified that these students have completed the requirements for their program for a high school diploma as prescribed by the Board of Elementary and Secondary Education for the state of Louisiana. Leah Elise Abadie with honors. <laughs> Mohammed Ahmad Abdel Haq with honors. Cody Joseph Adams. Luke Thomas Adams. Nicholas Dante Adams. <laughs> Jenna Victoria Adcock. Jessica Lynn Adjibato with honors. <laughs> Maria Faye Alshi with honors. Samantha Lynn Ajan. Oscar Dennis Allegria the Third with honors. Jermaine Alexander with honors. <laughs> Michael Martin Alfonso the third.
Patrick Arthur Allen with honors. Jericho Bandana Almadrago. Congratulations. Good luck to you in the future. Thank you, sir. Sebastian Anil Alonzo. Asma Saddam Abdo Al Rashani. <clears throat> Carly Mariah Anderson with honors. Ava Elizabeth Araby with honors. <laughs> Catherine Arzola Morales. Michael Azevedo. Congratulations to the future. Courtney Francis Azevedo with honors. Josie Michelle Othamet. <laughs> Alyssa Cecile Babin. Javon Lionel Bailey. Stanley Edward Bailey III. Chandra Layette Baker. Gianni Janae Baldwin with honors. Alton Banks III. Dwayne Carlson Banks, Jr. Idea Saliaja Banks with honors. <laughs> Sa
Sajeda Saeed Abed Barawi. Angel Barbosa Becerra. Congratulations and good luck to you in the future. Thank you. Congratulations. Kimberly Ann Barlow. Jordan Anthony Bartholomew. <laughs> Jamia Giselle Barton. Krista Joelle Bazile with honors. Madison Grace Basto with honors. Ian Edward Ernest Bernard. Congratulations. Chance Michael Beck with honors. Devin Michael Beckham. Congratulations, Jaden Jamal Ben. Jalen Gerard Ben. Diavion Lemire Jair Ben. Chance Michael Bergeron. Raquel Nicole Bertusi. Shelby Lynn Bethay. Dejan Norman Bibbs. Jerrion Gerald the Enemy.
Janaira Geraldine the Enemy. Rashad Joseph the Enemy. Ariana Justine Marie Blakely with honors. Denny Ami Bluford. Logan Allen Bloom. Hannah Marie Bowen. Cameron Rose Bollinger. Mackenzie Aaron Bonvillian with honors. Zachary Paul Bordelon with honors. Jason Paul Bourgeois, Jr. <laughs> Seth Anthony Brenneff. Kristen Jackie Bro. <laughs> Logan Lee Brewer with honors. Alicia Ariel Brister. <laughs> Curtis Brown the third. Nanny Nia Brown with honors. <laughs> Jermaine Michael Brown.
Nige Jade Brown. Tabitha Ann Briscato. Ariane Monique Buchanan with honors. Din Win Bowie with honors. Giovanni Antonio Berta. Lakersha Burns. <laughs> Chance Joseph Burns. Gabrielle Caballero. <laughs> Corelli Iram Ortega Caravantes with honors. Michael Carbo. Go <laughs> Evan Charles Carterera. Kevin Ryangelique Carr. <laughs> Kedrian Angel Carter with honors. Casanova with honors. <laughs> we'll take a moment. 
Marissa David Casanova. Aaliyah Jean Cassio. Bryce Michael Catania. Emily Marie Cawthorn with honors. <laughs> Ty J. Jamarius Caesar. Nedrial Mianta Caesar. Stop. Laurie Thailand Champion. Rayanna Maria Charles. <laughs> Angel Marie Chavaria with honors. Semino with honors. <laughs> Suleiman Sise. John Kenneth Clark, Jr. with honors. Aaron Jacob Cleary. Gordon Clayton Colburn the third. Just go straight. Just go straight. Patriot Janiah Coleman with honors. Catherine Shannon Collins with honors. Gabriel DeMund Cook, Jr. with honors.
Nyla Sion Cordier. Stephen Michael Couture, Jr. <laughs> Alexander Angel Cruz with honors. Daylin Ahmad Crosby. Devin Joseph Cruz with honors. Lily Kim Dam with honors. <laughs> Lydia K. Dana. Bailey Nicole Dardar. <laughs> Melanie Louise Dardis with honors. Mason Paul Dardis. Evan Joseph DeLon with honors. Taylor Troy Denninger. Larry John DeRoche the third. Amber Lene DeSales with honors. <laughs> Madeline Michelle Desatel. Ronald John DeSalle, Jr. Savannah Leah DeWint with honors. Trent Anthony DeWint.
Devin Anthony Diaz. Lane Philip Di Bartolo. Stephen Joseph De Vincenti Jr. Alexandria Miranda Doan with honors. <clears throat> Elena Nicole Donaldson with honors. Devin Ronell Durham. Abby Victoria Eady. Micah Joel Ebanks. Ethan Joseph Ellison. Haley, Unique, and Kalade. <laughs> Melena Nichelle Ankalade. Brian Keith England II with honors. Manuel Espinosa III with honors. Erica Angeline Estave. Jada Janae Evans. Hayden Joseph Fabers. <laughs> Bryce Shannon Fagan.
Brendan Tyler Fassbender. Ashanti Nicole Felipe with honors. John Anthony Ferrand the second. Oakley Jacob Fisher. Charles Robert Fisher the fourth. Brett Andrew Flesh. <laughs> Dylan Robert Flesh with honors. Eric Javier Fonseca. Marquel May Forbes. Monique Marie Frary. <laughs> Trinity Ann Fry with honors. Rodnell Balbon Gabara with honors. <laughs> Malik Moamar Gaber. Mikkel Varshel Gabriel. John Marcel Gallagher with honors. Eric Sebastian Ganji. Right. Leonardo Alberto Garcia Espinal with honors.
Juan Carlos Garcia Soto. Jasmine Natalia Gaspar. Elijah Pierce Gating. Hunter Nicholas Gifford with honors. Gabriella Alexandria Gomez. Josue Jeremias Gomez, Jr. <laughs> Lorena Taina Goncalves Vieira. Daniela Dominic Gonzalez Chavez with honors. Kelsey Michelle Goodman. Blake Alexander Graybert. <laughs> Jules Paul Graffato. Sadie Celeste Graffia with honors. <laughs> Curtis Maurice Graham. Stevenson Antoine Grant the third Dorian Ahmad Green Cameron Alexander Green with honors. <laughs> Chloe Elizabeth Guerra with honors.
Mariah Lynn Guerra. Michaela Elizabeth Guidry. <laughs> Jaguar Angel Hamilton. Joy Chanel Hampton. <laughs> Tori Marie Harrington. Kelvin Harris the third Chrislyn Armani Harris Kevian Nicole Harrison. Joshua Philip Abayer. Chandler James Henberg. <laughs> Skyler Page Henberg with honors. Eric Edwin Henderson, Jr. Sean Joseph Herbert, Jr. Dalton Edward Herline. <laughs> to Void Semaine Higgins, Jr. Aaliyah Michelle Hill with honors. Alisa <laughs> Annette Hill.
Joseph Calvin Hills. Caleb Joseph Hingle. Caleb Thomas Hingle. Omar Abdullah Hanawi. <laughs> Truck Ting Hong with honors. Meredith Nicole Hawks. <laughs> Brielle Lene Hoffman. Mia Faye Hollingsworth with honors. <laughs> Layla Emily Holloman with honors. Sean Mitchell Holmes, Jr. <laughs> Madison Lee Holstein. Derek Morris Hutchinson with honors. <laughs> Isabel Elizabeth Jackson. Jada Lachey Jackson with honors. <laughs> Mohammed Wasim Jamor. Melissa Elizabeth Jarquin. <laughs> Jasmine Elise Johnson.
Rebecca Marie Joachim with honors. Faith Christina Johnson with honors. Briante Leona Jones. Keith Jones, Jr. Dejeuner, Dominique Jordan. Azari Zaiwan Joseph. <laughs> Stephen Jamal Journey, Jr. Katie Melanie Javel with honors. <laughs> Belladonna Bessie Wan. Kelsey Jacqueline Wan with honors. <laughs> Ahmad Jamad Junius. Malik Rahim Kandos. Peyton Sean Keefe. Dylan Michael Kimball. Cameron Michael Kinkella. Landon Carson Cray. <laughs> Jada Marie Kritzman with honors.
Jessica Jean LaFontaine. Selena Marie LaFrance Mellorine. <laughs> Jesuit Espiritu La Fuente with honors. Larissa Raquel Laino. <laughs> Kristen Gajon Lambert. Dominique Marie Lane. Julie Ann Laris with honors. Jessica Rose LaRocca with honors. <laughs> Alexis Barbara Leaphart with honors. Fatiel Paulette Alishima Leaphart. <laughs> Julia Lauren Legnan with honors. Jenna Marie Lemoyne with honors. <laughs> Caitlin Elizabeth Lena with honors. Amber Nicole Leonard. Drashawn Michael Leonard. Hayden Gage Lapine. <laughs> Gabrielle Frednicia Lapine with honors. Noah 
Paul Leslie. Jordan Alexandria Levy. Elliot Anthony Lewis, Jr. Taryn William Lewis, the third. Sierra Catherine Lytell. Gary Dwayne Lindsay, Jr. Sunshine L'Oreal Lockett. <laughs> Rona Faith Lombantare. Genesis Alejandra Lopez Lopez. <laughs> Carla Yesenia Lopez Montoya. Paul Jarvis Lewis. <laughs> Haley Elizabeth Lowe's. Dejeuner Maya Lucian. <laughs> Jonathan David Ludwig with honors. Michael Edward Ludwig, Jr., with honors. <laughs> Olivia Lee Ludwig.
Eduardo Gabriel Maciel Pinto. Jason King Madison. Precious Angel McGee. Katie Elizabeth Mahler with honors. Juan Anthony Manuel. Devante Major. Shante Mylin Major. Sherman Christopher Major. Alejandra Maldonado Lendos. Theodore Alexander Manent. Melise Michelle Marks with honors. <laughs> Eric Joseph Marshall, Jr. Karen Bailey Marshall with honors. Blair St. Clair Martin with honors. Daniela Alejandra Martinez. <laughs> Cody Michael Mason.
Elviani Omica Matos Diaz with honors. Richard Henry Moroner III. Janaya Kenyatta McCray with honors. Chrislyn Isabel McGee with honors. <laughs> Dayton Deshawn McGee Dyson. Donald McKinney's the third with honors. <laughs> Gavin Thompson McNabb. Jason Lee McQuarrie, Jr. <laughs> Stephanie Gabriella Melendez. Dina Lynn Mellorine with honors. <laughs> Ivan Anthony Mellorine. Louis Angel Mendoza Zuniga. <laughs> Haley Lynn Manessis. Jasmine Elizabeth Merwin. <laughs> Katie Lynn Merwin. Jeanne Danielle Metz. <laughs> 
David Keith Meyer with honors. Taylor Rose Meyer. Roy Christopher Migliori, Jr. Jaden Elijah Milborn with honors. Bailey Brian Milburn with honors. Haley Alexis Miller. <laughs> Jaden Michael Miller. Jordan James Miller. <laughs> Troy Dell Christian Miller. Diana Agnes Mitchell. <laughs> Nakaya Joanna Mitchell. Darial Jolyn Mixon. <laughs> Sabrina Tatiana Mladdorf. Joseph Anthony Morales. <laughs> Megan Marie Morales. Maria Angela Morales Alfaro. <laughs> Chris.
Christian Jacob Morgan. Rifa Mudatamad Rabi. Fati Jamil Naji Mojali Kasim. Laney Michelle Nakan. <laughs> Savannah Nicole Nellig. Ashley Nicole Newman. Gracie Tuyet New Win. Khan Kwan Hong Win. Win Huang Win with honors. Sebastian Tian Tan Win. <laughs> Benny Felix Nunez the Third. Brielle Elizabeth Nunez. <laughs> Sierra Nakia Nunnery. Raina Nicole Oggs with honors. <laughs> James Lynn Raphael Oliver. John Michael Oliver with honors. Woo! 
Brandon Michael Oliveri. Oscar Apollonio Ortega Valles. <laughs> Luis Cruz Ortiz. Jeffrey Oswaldo Jerez Osorio. <laughs> Christina Marie Paniagua. Irian Aaliyah Parker. Sydney Lynn Parker with honors. Tarion Alea Parker. <laughs> India Mariah Pembroke. Kiara Alea Hendleton. David Yadel Perez Hernandez. Delber Rodrigo Perez Lopez. Kaylee Louise Paradin with honors. <laughs> Derek Reginald Anthony Petit. Paris Nakia Filson. <laughs> Nia Marie Phoenix.
Jitaya Janae Arbriel Piquet. Joya Angela Pierce. Chantel Ariel Pierre. Brennan James Paulette. <laughs> Cameron Lynn Petrie. Matthew Lewis Pitts, Jr. <laughs> Madison Elizabeth Fleming with honors. Sandriel Jalen Polk. Amanda Nicole Prestwood with honors. Canaan Anthony Rabelais. <laughs> Marchene Shantana Raby. Jason Gerardo Ramirez. Dorian Ratliff. Faith Renee Reeves. <laughs> Faith Ellen Reagan with honors. Hannah Ray Riley.
Alexis Darlene Resendez with honors. Brittany Nicole Rester. Brian O.G. Richardson, Jr. <laughs> Jenna Elizabeth Reese with honors. Jennifer Sarai Rivera Hernandez with honors. Grace Elizabeth Roberts with honors. Kaylin Malia Robinson. Dejanae Monique Robinson. Jerome Tarnell Robinson, Jr. <laughs> Ashley Elizabeth Rodriguez with honors. Max William Rodriguez. <laughs> Angela Celeste Romero Barron with honors. Mitchell Philip Roussel, Jr. <laughs> Luke William Rodzewski with honors. Gerson Manuel Saavedra Ayala. Marcelina Isabel Santa Marina with honors.
precious Emerald Santiago. Shakay. <laughs> Alyssa Marie Skiro. Keegan Joseph Schmidt. <laughs> Caitlin Neve Chambra. Michael Alexis Sexton with honors. <laughs> James Adam Sherwood, Jr. Brandon Lewin Shipley. Desmond Bernard Simeon, Jr. Olivia Marie Simmons with honors. <laughs> Dennis Charles Sims. Deshane Larry Sims. <laughs> Matthew Alexander Senegar. Zipporah Brenda Singleton. <laughs> Kiara Monet Sino. Angelo Bernard Smiles.
Tyron Edward Smith. Javier Ulysses Soto Cifuentes. Robert Charles Sparnecht III. Marcelo Anthony Spaguza. Cheyenne Elizabeth Spillman. Chad Michael St. Pay Jr. Callie Irene Stafford. Sarah Francis Stanich with honors. Brittany Swan J. Stedman. Chandler Logan Stedman with honors. <laughs> Seth Michael Steele. Mia Jeanette Stevens. <laughs> Herman Ray Stewart the third. Rosemary Roxana Suarez Hirato. <laughs> David Brian Sylvia Jr. with honors. Mason Anthony Tabany.
Mohammed Kareem Nasser Tamimi. Logan Michael Tardo. Blake Edward Samuel Taylor. Joshua Taj Taylor. <laughs> Elena Renee Template with honors. Olivia Madison Terrio with honors. <laughs> Rontrell Travion Thompson. Quinn T. Mong Tran with honors. <laughs> Joseph Vincent Tranchina. Darren Mark Trendacosta, Jr. <laughs> Luke Austin Trailer. Delil Lowell Trufant. <laughs> Courtney Brandy Turner. Lennon Ash Turner. <laughs> Lawrence Anthony Tyler. Alexa Renee Van Ampting. <laughs> Sean 
Sade Sharita Varnado. Charlene Sharita Varnado with honors. Chelsea Maritza Vasquez. Jorge Miguel Velasquez Marilla. Christopher Paul Vicknayer. <laughs> Jonathan Thomas Vicknayer. Haley Alexis Vicknayer with honors. <laughs> Emily Aaliyah Marie Victoriana. Kobe Christopher Voss. <laughs> Anthony Vu with honors. Lauren Faye Walker with honors. <laughs> Jatavia Whitney Wallace with honors. Caleb John Walter. Kiona Lachey Ward. Henry Clay Warner, Jr. <laughs> Colin Joseph Warren.
Demarion Jarrell Washington. Brandon Michael Watkins. Dominique Cianne Watson. Gabriel Michael Weaver with honors. Fiona Ashley Wells. Destiny Tierra Wesley. Austin Hunter Wheaton with honors. Martez Wanye Whitby. Chelsea Lane White. Jarnay Ashanti White with honors. Marquia Renee White. <laughs> Brendan James Whitmore. Atasia Montrese Williams. <laughs> Ethan Patrick Williams. Keontae and Tia Williams. Michael Christopher Williams with honors.
Michael Trey Williams III. Rodney Clifford Williams, Jr. <laughs> Ty Jaleel Williams. Bryce Stephen Wilson. Damon Maurice Wilson, Jr. Hannah Elizabeth Page Wilson. <laughs> Kyla Mose Windham. Kaylin Leilani Woods. Caitlin Ashley Wright with honors. Brandon Joel Young. <laughs> Corey Kendrick Young, Jr. Danilo Dmitrovich Zaitsev with honors. <laughs> Senior class vice president Yasmin Diamond Muhammad Allen with honors. Senior Class Treasurer, Malak Anwar Gaber. <laughs> Senior Class Recording Secretary, Mallory Elizabeth Smith with honors. Senior Class President and Valedictorian, Lena Saif Abdelatif. <laughs> 
valedictorian Grace Margaret Bartholome. Valedictorian Sarah K. Bourne. Valedictorian Leanne Rivera Dacula. Senior Class Corresponding Secretary and Valedictorian, Logan Alexis Dusang. <laughs> Valedictorian, Ayla Victoria Hoy. Valedictorian Connor Joseph Kenny. <laughs> Valedictorian Cindy Montserrat Solis Gaitan. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2020. Graduates, you may change your tassels. Congratulations and go Owls. Please stand for the benediction to be given by senior class treasurer Malak Gaber. Please remain standing for the alma mater and the fight song. Good evening, everyone. In the name of God, the most compassionate, the most merciful, thank you for giving us the strength through these four years and during this pandemic. Please guide us to stay resolute through uncertain times and humble in the good times. We know that this may not be the graduation we expected, but we believe in your mercy and kindness to overcome these unique adversities. Thank you, Lord, for, keep, for keeping us healthy and safe. Hopefully, this graduation will be the start of many achievements to come. And let us always remember, may we honor one another, glorify you together, and inspire the world to be better. Amen.